All right, let's dive into the gain assistant. So if you go to the config screen, okay, you can see all of the input sockets along the top. Yep. You can select one of those, and you'll get all the settings for that at the bottom. So we've got a mic plugged in at the moment. Yep. And you'll see one of the options there is gain assistant. So if you grab your mic and have a talk into it, hit the auto set. Check one, two, one, two, one, two. Check in one, two, three, four. Oh, that's pretty cool. It starts to auto gain up based on my voice. So we're keeping on talking and it uh, looks like it's kind of set in there. And one, two, one, two. Hey, hey. Great. So it's come up with OK. It's found the level. You'll see you've got a nice healthy level on the meter on the mm -hmm. right hand side there. Uh, and it's complete and happy. So if you hit the OK. So you see now it's also switched on the auto gain. Okay. What, yeah, what is auto gain? So auto gain is the second part of the gain assistant, and this will prevent uh, distortion from peaking. So if that level is okay. coming in too hot, it will just reduce the gain a little bit. And that's always going on in the background as well. So if you're off mixing somewhere and the guitarist turns up their guitar in the middle of a set, which obviously never happens. Never. <laughs> never. Um, then it can just pull back the gain for you to stop the gain distortion. Awesome. Can you do multiple channels at one time with the auto gain, or do you have to go one each time? Yes, yeah, so you can do everything at once. So let's just select a bunch of these. So that's all of my inputs, bar okay. the one that we've already set. Yep. And we <laughs> um, don't have anything plugged in, so it's not going to be doing anything. But yeah, so you can just basically have the, the band play, and it's going to set all your gains for you. Absolutely. Or if, you've, uh, if you want to set your own gains, you can. You could still use the auto gain feature separately. Okay. Awesome.